Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Happy Art Treasures. I am Steve. I'll be your tour guide this morning. Donna, my co-host, will be joining us a little later. Uh, to be fair, she didn't know I was going to film today. Uh, everything is messed up. Our whole world is kind of in a blender, I guess. And so we're going to... So here's what's going on. We're going to recap the storage unit. Donna has laundered all the clothes she's organized the garage she's done crazy good things so we're going to tell you how many pieces of clothes they were we're going to update you kind of on that um normally i ship on monday wednesday friday i have two day shipping and yesterday i did part two of the video that i put out so that was in the morning and then i was going to ship well we got a phone call or message and we got a private pick so we went to a private pick yesterday afternoon and then i came back and started to ship and then uh, I've got another message, another private pick yesterday evening. So I didn't get my shipping done. So I'm in the middle of the shipping. And so I thought, you know what? We're going to, I'm going to show you stuff that's sold. I'm just going to pull orders quick, go over some things with you. And then we're going to kind of show what Donna did. We're going to show the, the results of the storage units. Uh, and we're going to show you some stuff from the private picks. Nothing super fancy, anything like that. But... You know, when you get a call like that, you don't want to miss out. So you want to go check it out. So that's what we're going to do. Stick around with me and I'll just kind of fill you in on some other stuff too. And we're going to have just kind of a fun, relaxing video where we get updated on everything. So here we go. This is what I did, you know, yesterday late afternoon. I started my shipping. Those are all post office. That one's UPS. Um... That's how many things I've done so far. So this is a mess. This is what it's like in the middle of the shipping because I just grab things and toss things, whatever. And so this was gonna work for the peanuts. The peanuts nativity is right here, right there. Remember the peanuts nativity? It's in here and that sold for $125. That's going out today. There are some really cool things that sold, so that's kind of the reason why I don't want to have to make up. I don't like it when we are like, we should do a video and we have to come up with an idea. So it's kind of like a built-in idea when we already have some cool stuff to show you. So let's pull some orders, kind of tell you what the weekend's been like, you know, leading up to this point um, after that storage unit. That storage unit was a drain. It absolutely wiped us out and we had so many other things going on. So let me uh, start grabbing orders here. First thing I grab is all the way up in R1, way up here. So I'll pull that down, grab it. I turn all the labels so we can't see any of the labels of where things are going. And in here we have, this is the first one to show you here is a really cool sale. Oh, there's cup cozies too. I think we got one of those going out too. So I'll check before I put this away. Um, right here, it's a brown glass bubble ornaments look at this little guy here right there there's a vintage little bee little bee ornament isn't that cute that thing right there sold for what did he sell for 55 dollars and he's going to pennsylvania it looks like yeah pennsylvania and then we have i went and grabbed this woman's it's a woolrich quarter zip right here it's Woolrich, yeah, Woolrich. Uh, that sold for $8.77. Been on for a while, took an offer on it, and it's going to Michigan right there. So in the packages that we have sold, that I've shipped already, of course, there's no Alaska. You would definitely know if there was Alaska. Next in box 53, we have a little lovey. Donna sells loveys on a pretty consistent basis. She picks them up for usually a dollar a piece. This says garage sale. And then she sells them for 10 to 15 consistently. This is a little giraffe lovey. It's right here. And there it is. A little cutesy. Uh, $13.49 on that little fella. And that's going to New York. Put that stuff back in. Need somebody to buy that bag right there. Make this box a lot easier. But you know, sometimes when we touch things, then they sell. So, and in box 102, we got a Busilla 
pillow kit. It's cross stitch or what. That's right here. There was two available as my sticker says, but one already sold. And then this one sold now for $15.63 and it's going to Texas. Next thing we haven't sold for a long time. Little International Santa. It's been a long time. We got them back here in this tub. We got these from the Leslie, our cousins. Oh, pardon me. We bought out our cousin's eBay store. And we have a few of these left. And we're looking for an Irish, Irish Santa here. There's Brazil, Scandinavia, France, Russia, Greek, Ireland. Way back here. Sorry, the filming is bad. I'm new here. Irish Father Christmas right there. International Santa, $7.47 and going to Ohio. And in box 60, we got a little coach, a little wallet. I'm gonna grab that. So we got done with the storage units Friday night, got home and wiped out. Saturday, kids came over. We saw one kid and then we had dinner with the other kid. Um, didn't do much. Worked on the video, did part one of the video. And then, let me grab this little package here. We did part one of the video and then, you know, spent time with the family and that was pretty much it. Like, we were so, so drained, so tired. That thing was such a workout, it was brutal. Uh, had some good comments, some good views on them videos. It was interesting to do. We're glad we did it. Like I said, we'll go over this stuff later, but uh, one of the things that I regretted anyway, and then somebody commented last night about, was man, if I would have known how many charging cables and power cords and everything there was, we would have started saving them from the beginning because there was pretty darn good money in cords. But by the time we realized it was like, we'd gone too far. And the, the task was so big that it was like, let's just keep going but man looking back that's one thing i regret the other thing i regret is not trying to wear gloves um if it's a clean unit that's one thing that was not a clean unit so i wish we would have at least attempted but you just get going and you're just like whatever just go you know we keep wiping our hands hands with baby wipes and washing them when we can and stuff but yeah it was pretty gross but anyway this little coach what do they call these a wallet wallet right there that sold for fourteen dollars donna got that at a garage sale i believe and it's going to michigan and then in the cassette drawer there's a frank sinatra is this it yep right there frank sinatra sealed cassette the main event i don't know why nothing ever focuses on what i wanted to focus on but that's what that is right there that came from malcolm our very first estate sale clean out that we ever did after an estate sale and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping and it is headed to pennsylvania next up we got a fun little sale donna was just checking comps and checking things uh one day out there and she's like holy crap and i'm like what she's like look at the comps for this and i'm not even sure exactly what it is it's in here somewhere it's in a little box well where are you at it might not be in this box I may have to go on a hunt. I'm going to take this out and look closer. All right, it was supposed to be in box R8, but it was in on box R7. Get a little ambitious when we have the boxes outside and we put two or three boxes. And this happened a couple of times where we ended up putting in the wrong box information in. Can't do that when we're jumping box to box or else we end up searching. So we got to be more diligent on that. Look at this though. Dymo embossing tape. I don't know what embossing tape is, but this is a package of dymo embossing tape a new package and what do you think that sold for right there what do you think what do you think what do you think that thing right there sold for $99.99 and it's going to Alabama apparently this is pretty hard to find she was she was like holy crap and I'm like holy crap so holy crap so then on Sunday on Sunday, I had golfing uh, with my friend, and he was making up like our golf league. And so we went out golfing. What did we do up to that point? Man, I don't even remember. It's all such a blur. Um, Donna was working on 
laundry and clothes and everything but we went out golfing it was 102 103 degrees and we went out tea time like at 250 and i'll tell you what it was the best nine hole round i've ever shot which is crazy um i would tell you my score but it's not very good okay i shot a 44 which is the best i've shot in nine holes um, i'm not a very good golfer but i really really enjoy it so anyway after we got home tell you what the 102 degree heat i i laid in front of donna's fan in the living room on the floor and i woke up like an hour later i was absolutely just drained me it was so bad but then we had my first fancy football draft that evening and and then before you know it it was monday and monday like i said did video usually i do shipping we film and then do shipping but i did the set part two video and then we had a couple buyouts and so now i'm behind and so here we go is what basically i'm doing so next up we have another great sale by donna donna has some great sales in this group i tell you what box 43 down here and in here right here i'm not going to take this out i'll put a helpless picture up but it's a top quilt unfinished bedspread it's just uh not finished it's just the beginning of a top quilt or something and that sold for 50 bucks right there and it's going to Oregon so yay you Donna good job speaking of Donna making great sales I saw this bowl when I was looking for that tape so I snagged it and it is right here this is a fire king jadeite green swirl mixing bowl right there nine inch that sold for $26 and 99 cents and that is going to Oregon as well look at Donna just crushing it out here hey real quick it is Tuesday today I don't know when this is coming out Wednesday or Thursday but Friday night 6 30 Pizza Ranch Lincoln Nebraska be there or be square or something grams and pops are going and they're going with us garage sailing and so is uh, Alicia inked picker and we're going to bits bargains for you on 92 weekend um, we got the book for the sales and bargains for you on 92. Very, very disappointed in the lack of sales. We're not sure why that is. I would think it'd be a big weekend, you know, the last it's going into holiday weekend and whatever. But anyway, we're going to make the most of it. I'm going to find as many sales as I possibly can. So we're going to do uh, bargains for you on Thursday and then probably just garage sales in Lincoln or maybe Omaha if we, you know, find more over there. But yeah we're gonna make the most of it but friday night 6 30 pizza ranch be there be square we have a back room reserved so hopefully we'll see some of you there next item up is in box 46 this is another thing that normally would be my thing but donna found this was working stuff and she listed it and by golly he sold it it is right here it is a first gear texaco fire chief it's a die cast uh, mac truck 1960 B model pumper and that sucker sold for $44.99 and it's going to Pennsylvania so another great sale by Donna the next thing says it's on the shelf in pink bag now when we say shelf this is here's our shelves there's one that's a shelf not a lot on there um, up here we say shelves that side this side down here I don't see any pink bags and then back in the clothes room we hit the lights here or the light uh, I don't see a pink bag here anywhere along here so this is our shelf area this is basically just stuff that's too big for boxes and then on there we call that shelf and then back in here um, random places and there it is way in the last place I'm looking pink bag up there right there our mannequin mannequin down mannequin down all right this is a tupperware piece tupperware vegetable tray there's the lid for it underneath it that right there sold for $19.99 and it's going to iowa all right next up we got one of donna's cup cozies again right here this is one with a moose on it and this is actually going to a repeat purchaser she watches the youtube channel julie Julie has purchased one already, and Donna's actually making her a couple uh, ones that she requested. 
but she purchased this one and it's going to Julie in Colorado. So Julie, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it greatly. The last three items I have to pull are all from the fire buy. The fire buy has been uh, doing well. We are into the profit on the fire buy. We have a lot more boxes like in storage to do, but we have been selling some cool stuff like that. You just saw that die cast a little bit ago for $45. We have three more fire buy things. Uh, the first thing I believe is in here it is a Franklin Mint. Let me get the tape off of here. Yeah, right here. Franklin Mint Aaron's uh, Fire Truck Collectible like uh, Pocket Watch. It's a pocket watch with a holster. But that right there sold for $27.57 and is going to Georgia. The next firehouse buy item is in box one which is on the bottom when we started don had started and did three of these big boxes with a whole bunch of stuff in it and it turned out that didn't work real well because it's so hard to find a place to store them and to find stuff when it's time to sell but we have something to grab out of here it is this matchbox go action ambulance and we had three of these and i think all three of them sold for full asking price of 36.99 that's what this one sold for right here and it is going international and i honestly i think one of the other ones went international also i might be wrong but let's see where it's going here this is going to romania who to thunk it man that's cool so an old matchbox ambulance what year is this from from 1999 and it's going to romania that's awesome we're gonna have to add Romania to our list of countries over here. All right, then the last thing I'm gonna pull is another thing from the fire bites in box R5. I'm gonna go grab the box. All right, in box mm -hmm. R5, we had six different Harley Davidson gold edition motorcycles. One of them is sold, and now we're looking for the 1948 uh, Panhead motorcycle. So you can only week, it's down in the on the little label thing. That's 1962. It'll probably be the last one I grab. 1942. Let's set that aside for now. 1909. 1948, right there. 1948 FL Panhead Harley Davidson Gold Edition motorcycle. That sold for $53.99. And it's going to, where is that going to? Oh, that's going international as well. Let's see where it's headed. That is going to Singapore. So we get to put Romania and Singapore on our list of things. And no Alaska yet. But yeah, we're going to get a little self a little list of international things. And the international shipping is the best. I, I absolutely like it because... If something happens to the package, once it once they ship it, eBay covers it. If it gets damaged or something, once they get it through the international hub and they send it out, anything after that that may happen to that package, if something gets broken or something, then they cover it and we don't have to worry about it. So I always like me a good international sale. And we got two of them to finish the round. So that's all I'm pulling. I'm going to get these things shipped because I do want to get all these packages out to the post office as soon as I can here. So I'm going to knock that out. I have one more thing I wanted to show you before I do this and before then me and Donna will film later and update you on some other things. But check this out. So last night, our 21-year-old, she just started today. Today's her first class of her senior year of college. She's going to be a teacher. She's been doing a lot of subbing. Um, anyway, she was down here looking at clothes in Donna's clothes room. Donna lets her come shop, whatever. Uh, and I got down here this morning and I have a note on my computer right there sticking up. It says, I heart you both and I am so proud of you. Keep kicking booty. Best daughter ever. So that's pretty cool. That's a great thing to kind of wake up to. I know it's probably blurry. Nothing ever focuses on what I wanted to, but yeah. How fun is that to come downstairs to that, you know, when you get started in the morning. So thank you to Jada. If you ever see this, you won't see it, but thanks to Jada for the note. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to get to work and then we're going to catch up and me and Donna are going to go over some stuff. Okay, look who I found. Hi, everybody. 
Hi. Hi. This is Donna. She's my coworker <laughs> and my wife and my boss. I am not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, so, okay, so now all the stuff is shipped. We went and took stuff to the post office and UPS and all yeah. that stuff is gone. Uh, and things are good. Life is good. But I wanted to show you, we're going to update you about the storage unit and the picks that we did yesterday. We did a couple picks. Yes, we did. I don't know. Are we crazy? Yeah, we're I think crazy. we are. It's, it's, so after the storage unit, this place was a mess in here. And Did they see it before? No. Oh. No, but it was... The two Final. days going back and forth, it was a complete mess. And this wonderful woman oh. organized what and sorted. What do you sorted. want from me? You're being so nice. <laughs> organized and sorted and everything. Well, I have to go golfing in an hour and a half. So yeah, he gets that's why to I'm go. being nice. <laughs> um, For one month out of the year, he has to golf and play bowling. Bowl. I mean, now I took off tomorrow night for yeah, bowling. Because they let the seasons overlap. So for one month he's got like two things to do a week and yeah. yeah. And then he has to make up when somebody misses. So Something sometimes like it seems more, but it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I actually took off bowling tomorrow night. Anyway, yeah. we are digressing, I think they say. Yeah. So let's talk about storage unit first. Our storage unit? No, no, no. The one we just did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. can I read that comment? Yeah, but... Can I read the comment? Now we're digressing. No, it's about the storage unit. Okay, go ahead. I want to read... And we, we don't focus on the negative. We really don't. We, we laugh about it, honestly, because if somebody watches something and they're like, <laughs> they have something mean to Here. say... Okay. You it's a... It's a comment, it's a view, and then they comment, and it actually creates more interaction. Yes. But I really want to read you this, and don't think that we're taking this to heart or anything, because trust me, we're not. <laughs> it's so funny. But if you watch the storage unit videos, which I assume our regulars pretty much did. So if our if, if, if you've watched for a while and you know us, yeah, if, yeah. Um, then this will be funny to you. But if you don't know us, and you maybe get... <laughs> You know, you just jump in maybe to the middle of of a <laughs> yeah. Anyway, a video. On, okay. On the see. last, the part two of the storage unit, which if if you watch, like, it was a long day. Uh, we got this comment from Scott Jerry JD Nine CL, and it says, "Maybe if you spend less time complaining about being tired and how hot it is, maybe you could get done faster and stop throwing away money because you're too lazy to process it. If you hate doing this so much, why do you do it?" Well, first of all, um, we're not lazy. Follow us around for a day. Yeah. My response, you know what my response was? My response was, I hearted it, and I said, thanks for watching and commenting with a laughing face. Because I'm like, you went out okay. of your way to say that. That's funny. You got like, another one. Read the other one. Was there another one? Yeah, there was another one. Um and we're not laughing at you. We're just laughing no, at the fact that people just don't understand or know us. There was that other negative that you watched. Oh, I don't even know that there was or that another you, negative. That they said. Oh, they said. Oh, yeah, that one is even funnier. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, guys, but we're this, this is, is funny. Fun. We got to share this one is really funny because they said in the video. I said something about, well, hey, we're filming this for you. You know, we could be done sooner, but we're filming this because this is what we do. And anybody that watches our video knows why we started YouTube. Yeah. Um, we've been doing it a long time, three and a half years. We did it for almost three years without being monetized, whatever. And somebody said, you're filming because YouTube is paying you. Don't BS. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're here around this yeah, YouTube mom, money. <laughs> mom and mom, we're not doing this so you know what we're doing. We're, we just are money hungry yeah, fools. <laughs> it's funny because people think that if, if you have a big YouTube channel, yes, you can make yeah. good money. But we're not a big YouTube channel. We're not making good money. Like it has, it has really no bearing on our like income at all. So no, we're doing it for fun because we enjoy it. And you so. know what? We do like the comments. No, we love the comments. <laughs> yeah, most Absolutely. of the comments are awesome and cool. I and want even the though, comments. Even the ones that are like. Even the negative ones. They I've, don't know us. And they may not mean to be negative and rude and mean. I don't know. but Well, yeah. it just, you know, if you're going to comment that like that, I I laughed when I told Don. I'm like, oh my gosh, you got to see this comment. Like, I got a kick out of it. But well, and the thing anyway. of it was, whenever you were talking in the storage unit that we just did, whenever you'd get on, you'd be like, it's four o'clock, and now it's five o'clock, and now it's six o'clock, and we're so hot, and we're so tired, and we're just doing it, and well, it looks like you just walk around. 
<laughs> yeah, videoing. yeah, but what was, I, what was I doing? What were we both doing in the hours in between the updates? You oh know? my goodness, he was anyway. carrying everything. <laughs> anyway, me. it's not that we're that awesome or we work that hard or anything like that. It's yeah. just that we found funny. Yeah. So, uh, final kind of not really numbers or anything, but the stories you. But we completely underestimated. Okay. Yeah, so what we got there. I went through all the boxes and totes and everything that we brought home, and we had about 350 but that's not counting the this right here okay so that's what's so gone through your washing machine what's so gone far? through the washing machine so far is 350 pieces so that's coats t-shirts um running pants stuff like that and they're let's, washed and hung up you want to see take, we're going to take a look okay. at that first and we also took two ikea bags full yes to the so, booth already so it's 350 plus over here i've got some bibber overalls and some coats and then these are jeans and there's some with tags jeans here that aren't counted yeah and okay, then so. is any of this stuff from there no okay no. well i didn't know where like the boots oh okay here we um, go the shirt if i just follow her she'll show me what's yeah going if you on. just follow me i put everything easy to access so i've got odds and ends odds and ends i've got boots they're and all from there yep. bags and you have any the, bags inside of bags inside of bags? Yeah, okay. Here. <laughs> and so hats, more bags, and then over here. Oh, we, we don't have a light back here. We've rack got back here plushies. We've got this is all full of electronics. This is all full of tools. We've got games. There's a PlayStation here. This is all odds and ends. That's boots. Um. Yeah, there's the area of boots. We never did show you, but. That's those we found in the storage unit there. I haven't looked them up yet. Obviously, we haven't processed them, but they're not too yeah, bad. They're not bad at all. Um, but this is all shoes and boots. These two are are not from there, but I just wanted them on the rack. And then we've got more games up here. So that's from the storage. The storage unit plus plus I've got all of these clothes. So these are all washed, and we took about this many to the booth. Okay. So I've got Nebraska and I've got jerseys and I've got hoodies and I've got a Patagonia. And yeah, I've that's kind of cool. Bright color with the blue. That's kind of cool. I've got... Um, What's that one called? Affliction. There's Affliction, affliction shirts. There's two Affliction shirts. There's some Jordan. Um, there's some a couple Rodeo. There's... Just all kinds and there's hoodies all there's, kinds. there's such cool stuff and here's some kind of oh there's two yeah, of that's kind of cool but those band shirts they're in here too yeah uh, everything's good. cleaned up everything cleaned up nice oh man it did and then jada came over last night and so she ended up taking like eight different yeah pieces and then in the other room oh, i ran out of hangers so we still have like this is all more band tees. laundered and ready to go but misfits and it's just Sturges. folded up it's this pile look at this i mean this is we had a t-shirt that i think sold for 30 dollars on ebay that was this right here because this is from 1994 mm -hmm. uh, but this is a sweatshirt from 1994. jada would wear her t-shirt out and people would offer her fifty dollars just for her t-shirt yeah and we um, found a sweatshirt and so we found a sweatshirt with it and all this it's kind of mess here but it's they're all kind of folded yep. we just looked through some of it so all that stuff all is good too so that's that's storage unit stuff right that's the storage unit stuff pretty much and then well we got a phone call yeah so then i explained <laughs> like i was going to ship we filmed or i was working on the video and then we got oh, a phone call yeah and so okay. we went to the first buyout and so here we'll, we'll kind of show you we haven't went through everything through everything but we'll just so, kind of show you we paid 125 dollars at that buyout right everything right here and right here so like this half of the table here yeah it's from it's from that buyout yes and it's just all kinds of mixed together stuff so we'll show you some of those things and then also the second call we got was was for another buyout or pick, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's pick. I'm it's over here. And it's this little bit down here. We gave this here, not including that big thing over there. Yeah, but not the rest that, of this but this is these. all for 
60? Was it 60? 60. And two rugs. And two rugs, one of which, and they were possibly for our kid because our kid had a sick dog and so got a carpet ruined. But, yeah. So, so anyway, let's just show a few things here. Let's just, and like I said, we haven't actually processed this, so we don't remember, we don't know. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to pull some stuff out of here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if, if you sell kits you'll know that the kits to look for are these gold collection okay so there are four gold collection in here there's just odds and ends by dimensions and stuff but there's that gold collection yeah we've sold a bunch of kits over the years and then there's this one and they they look a little different they look like they're in bags, some of them. And this is a complete um, tree skirt. Tree there we skirt. Go. So there we go. knew it was 50 bucks for this kit. That's so awesome. So there's gold collection there. And I don't know where the rest of them are. And then there's just some little kits. Yeah. So we got several of those. I didn't look any of these up when we, when yeah, we got we them. Yeah, we literally went through the house. They showed us through all the rooms. And there were some rooms that were off limits and some things were off limits, whatever. And we basically just went and did a quick, just a pick through. Now, once they're completely done and all the family's been there again one more time or something, and when they're completely moved out, they might call us again to go back again. And that would be awesome. But it was just a quick go through these rooms and make a pile. And then look at these. Aren't these cute for the booth? They're towels. Oh, wow. See, and I didn't see the stuff. <laughs> we were picking different areas. Yeah. So, so I just like the towels. Yeah, those are cool. And there's the Halloween one. So I just picked out some more kits. So there's a bunch of kits in there. Yep. And then because Kayla and Matt always pick up throw pillows. Oh, yeah, they do. I'm so school and picker. here's a vintage one. Have no idea how that's going to do. And then I got this one. They look to be handmade, and I imagine they are. Yep. Yeah. So I just thought I would try those. Okay. Now, this was mostly you here. Steve got these two little doohickeys. Oh, I don't know what they are, but there's <laughs> I don't the Coyote and the Roadrunner. I assume with the clothespin, like, they'll spin. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know exactly what they are. Okay. But I grabbed them. Um, antique buttons. Okay. But the reason I got this was for the container it was in. I love these stores a lot containers. Yep. And then we got some vintage candles. Okay. Again, we haven't looked any of this up. Yeah, we don't know if any of this is worth anything or not. A baby porcupine. Okay. This holds your scrubber on the sink. It's a ladybug. Yep. And then just some odds and ends here. Yeah, some candles, I think. Like this is Avon Summer Fancy. It's a candle. Mm -hmm. So odds and ends. Okay, I just picked up a few things. This is pound puppies. Yeah, a little puzzle. Yeah, yep. and a little, this looks like a yep. baby or maybe Mary and baby Jesus. I found one thing of yarn. Oh, that was it? <laughs> yes. And a little squirrel. Some random little things here. Um, a home co little thing i mean there's odds and ends so we just picked quick and yeah going through stuff so we'll go through okay. this later and then i found this tote and looked in it and honestly it's vintage halloween and i didn't go any deeper honestly yeah we don't i don't we i didn't dig is what i'm saying like i just looked and it looks like vintage halloween i assume it's halloween all the way to the bottom but don't know i'm guessing so here's a cup with a halloween yeah looks like it's probably halloween so a tote of halloween stuff we don't don't have any idea what's in here honestly spiders yeah but that's okay those kind of spiders are okay look at this little baby i just thought look at its face that's cute that's interesting it's got uh it's bendy so it's a handmade one cool and then we found a little coin sorter and some little boxes. I found two recipe boxes. Sometimes recipe boxes do good. Yeah. And just, I really didn't look much um, into some of this stuff. 
There's some silverware. Yeah. Okay. Um, this box has a lot of fabric pieces in it, quilting stuff. Um, pickup sticks. Yeah, that. we found a pickup sticks. We found buttons. more buttons. Unusual buttons. You found these. Yeah, some old Disney cups. Um, yeah. Those are Sensi. So just a plethora of. Oh, we found this little puppy dog thing. Yeah. So plethora of different things to look at, go through. He just. The poor guy. He had just had it with yeah, they trying have, to move. Yeah, they have an thing. entire house to empty pretty much. They said by mid September. So um believe me, we, we all the stuff we took, like the the other family members, like when they came back, they probably walked through and thought, Well, did they even take anything? Because <laughs> there's so a lot cool. of stuff. So I kind of felt bad for the guy, like they got a huge job ahead of them. I got some little kids things these are those these little kids little pieces okay dear god kids. little figures yeah what's that car there this is a planter looks like this I think, oh, I think it's a tractor tractor planter yeah put together yeah okay. so the wheels are under here and okay so that's a project for my husband. Love projects. And then this is a box of candle stuff. Yeah, old uh, party lights and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that there's much money in candle light, but party light. But we got this. Let's see. The pan. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's a longer glass egg plate. Oh, for double deck. Yeah, it's like a green tinted egg plate. It's nothing super fancy, but. We got this cookie jar and he said that he remembers this being on the counter at mom's house with cookies in it. Yeah, that's cool. And we got some little toys. Okay. And some more oh, little, some toys. little toys. Okay. Now there was a whole room with a whole bunch of Tupperware that we did. They wanted to go through. This was in the room that they said was all picked through and it's it was a done. Storage container. It's a Tupperware storage container. So Donna was like, "Oh, cool." They sold one of these at their garage sale, and I got that one too. So I have two of these now. Cool. All right. This is a tree from Princess House. That is the different tiers. Okay. So they stack. All right. Um got a little farm set oh that's what's actually in there okay yeah. just an old old toys old Looks farm like toys this. all right and then i've got some avon blue dishes all right and a scentsy and then this is candles okay home interior candles so all they right. had a lot of things that weren't open so we just picked them up since they were yeah. new. And then there's this container of uh, kitchen towels. They're kitchen towels. This was a this was a nice. Uh, it's a Catholic Bible. There's no writing, and we went through it first, and then he checked it too to make sure. Catholic Action Bible. Um, it's a like new. Print. It's in very very good condition. Larger print. So we got that, and then a few more boxes here. This. This stuff is not part of it. But, um, here's just some more. Oh, that was another Halloween fabrics, box. Fabrics, another Halloween box. So we, you know, Got this little whole box of Halloween. We don't know. I'm musical, it says. Mm -hmm. And then some more of the Dear God. Yeah. Pop. And I, I have no idea what else is in here. But the lady looked and she's like, yeah, you can have that. You can take that. Yep. So there were a lot of that kind of stuff. There's a little brooch thing or earring. Cost, cost jewelry thing there, yeah. And then up here we have a Revlon hot air kit, shine enhancing is, hot air kit. Is that to do your hair, honey? Yeah, it's to do my hair. <laughs> it's to do my hair. All right, and then another container, and then just some little. Here's a little like multimeter thing. I'm not really smart about that stuff, but and then there was a few Husker things. Here was a Husker 
like pitcher. Oh, yeah. For the and then a set of four Husker glasses. For the oh, they got the cool red on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Maybe I should trade those out for some of my glasses. Oh. There's a Chicago Bears pewter belt buckle. Archie Bunkers card game. Yeah, I didn't. I have what? no idea if it even is. That's funny. Complete. Archie Bunker. You couldn't put Archie Bunker out these days. There'd be a lot of people upset. But I remember that show. <laughs> that was funny back in the day. Oh. So anyway, just some stuff. This is like a pie cutter. Oh, and we got another one of these. This showed, hold on a second. This shows like Nebraska, the beef state or something, pie server thing. We've sold these little pumpkins before. They're glass. Oh, cool. So. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This was actually just all tissue paper, right? Um, so we thought for packing and stuff, she just got it. Yep they this whole box is tissue paper so i'm excited about that because we're running low yeah and then over here yeah if you can get supplies might as well get supplies all right let's just kind of go down here and show what we got these i believe maybe were barbie doll or doll house they're metal they're metal yeah metal. And kind of rough shape but you know they look pretty antique and vintage so this one paid 60 65 mm -hmm. for this stuff in the rugs so we don't know if it was or not we didn't yeah like i said we don't look nothing up that's just an old very heavy home interior home interiors picture yeah frame okay i did look something up there's a camera down there i did look up oh i didn't even show you that i got these some old puzzles well these are sesame street puzzles and then so what's the year on there can you read it? Because I have my glasses on. 1989, it says. And then I got these guys. Oh, Sesame Street Treasury books. Mm-hmm. Okay. You used to get them free uh, with purchase at grocery stores. Okay. So it's a partial set. Okay. And then tea towels seem to do well. Yeah. We've sold a lot of tea towels over the years. Kitchen towels. Especially tea when towels. you have a set like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think, I didn't mean, I didn't look, but I think that it's got days of the week. Okay. Over here, I found just a few things. Here's a Tiger Woods Pro Shots. May not be worth anything. A lot of times these figures aren't, but grab that. And then a few, uh, what are these? Department 56 figures pick up and delivery i didn't look at them don't know that they're not broken or anything but winter sleigh ride and harvest time um those things and then there's little signs or something but and then two of these like dollhouse. miniature dollhouse things there's a sewing machine and there is a kind of the old stove i think mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah the old stove and then this camera I was kind of excited about, but then it turns out it's not that great. So, um, it is an Olympus. It's an OM10. I have to buy, assuming that it's for parts or repair, because I've gotten burned too many times not doing that. So it's like thirty bucks for that. But then I was bummed out because this is a Vivitar lens, which if it's the Vivitars, they're not worth much of anything, unfortunately. But that that is called a real baking oven a little lady and if you open that it's like an easy you put bake. like a light bulb underneath it or something well, it plugs in so okay um but and then you got that bag there this bag came from there too yeah you gave it to me oh okay here you go it's a purse so i don't so, yeah i should i found this and showed it to her but what he said was a bag and a bag and a bag yep that's our latest thing is a bag and a bag and a bag it's called grace adele so that's a grace adele bag yep and then it comes with like a dust cover or something this is a scarf in here that matches okay. it and this is clip on something else. Oh, oh it's like a, a, wallet. a wallet yeah okay so that set and then there's one more thing here this little purse yeah where is the opener there it is just an old uh what do you call it is it wicker straw is that it flower i don't know but 
Made out of straw. It's an old cool, cool little purse thing. It says, designed for you in mind by Mr. Norman. Good old Mr. Norman, designing them straw purses. <laughs> All right, so that's what it's been like. It's been chaos ever since, like, go, go, since go. the middle and, of last week. You know, you week. look at this stuff and you go, why did they pick that stuff? Once you get it out and, and clean it up and look at it and really see what it is and have time to look it up online, yeah. you know, that's what we're hoping for. Oh, you didn't show this, babe. Oh, <laughs> there's a bunch of records. I bought one, I threw one record in the pile of all things, Strawberry Shortcake. It's a picture disc and it looks like it's in excellent condition. So I grabbed it. It was all like old big bands. Can you see it? That's the record itself. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, no, no idea if it's worth anything at all. I just thought, oh, that's in good condition. That's kind of cute. But so. my big rock star has been. I was looking picks. for rock and roll. I came home with strawberry shortcake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, that's funny. I guess. I guess whatever. You know. Yeah. So, that's it. That's it. We just keep on a going and keep on keeping yeah. on. I guess. So the, today is today is golf. Um, tomorrow. I'm not bowling, but there's a big auction thing I think we're going to try yeah. to go to. We haven't been to one before. Yeah. Since we've started doing this, we've only been to two auctions where you get a number and bid. And that was the state auctions outside um, in... One was outside a house here, and then we, one we went down by Syracuse and went, and that one was disappointing as heck. We did? Yeah. I remember one Saturday afternoon out by along the highway down south. And it was just oh, really dumpy. Oh, barn. They were selling a bunch of old food first for like two hours. Yeah. So anyway, but so we might, I think we're going to try to do that. We have the friends coming, grams and pops are coming, and we're all hitting the trail uh, early Thursday morning. And we're going to hopefully find a lot of cool stuff. As at this point right now, I don't plan on filming because I don't know what exactly I'd film. We don't. I don't know. I don't we plan on filming, but you never know. We, we might, might take the camera Oh, with I'm sure we'll take the camera when with When we're all together. We'll just see what happens. I think we should. Um, it's what do they be... call that when two, two, three channels get together? A collab? Yeah, something. Maybe we'll do a collab. Maybe. Um, and then Donna's got to stay at our kids' house with dogs because yeah. our kid is taking a trip. And one of the dogs is sick. So hopefully... The dog will be okay Our by then. Our boy's not feeling well. Yeah, that's why the rugs, because a rug got ruined in ways we won't describe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I've kept you here long enough. Yeah. I know y'all got things to do, and I know I got things to do. Whoop cha! Whoop cha! <laughs> so, all right, cool. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We greatly appreciate we all of you. Do. Thank you for you, our new and welcome to our new subscribers. We got 14 today. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, we get all the comments like 99%, they're all positive. Yeah. It's every now and then you get a negative one and we we are entertained by that honestly well and because well, we appreciate we're such fun loving people that we try not to be negative and so when somebody catches us being negative yeah. it's kind of like whoopsies yeah all right hey thanks everybody we appreciate you very much don't ever forget that yes all right you got anything else donna that's it like and subscribe share with your friends and catch us on the next one all right cool for happy our treasures i'm steve i'm donna we'll see you on the next one bye